So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Pennsylvania. Uh, this morning, we're headed down into the woods here, kind of getting off trail here just a bit. And uh, we're taking a look at a big white oak here. And hopefully, we're gonna get this thing out of the woods here today. All right, so here's this big white oak. If you remember this past winter, my buddy Pete, he goes by Nuts319 on YouTube, he dropped this tree for me. Uh, this was a dangerous tree. Big, heavy, dead white oak, had a bunch of dead limbs up top, but it had a whole bunch of hard lean going out that direction right there. But I was happy, you know, that he got it down on the ground safely. And I've been waiting for dry weather and a good time to uh, pull it out of the woods. And I got the skidding winch on the tractor right now. So I figured I'm going to come down here, give it a once over, and uh, maybe we'll get this thing out of here today. If you look here in the center, definitely some rot. There's some ants in there. How far up the tree that goes, I don't know. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, fire up that 500 and I'll start cutting some pieces off of this, you know, at firewood length. And uh, we'll see how far we need to get up this log and hopefully it clears up. I'd like to get one really nice saw log out of this section right here. But we're going to measure this, see how big this is. This is a good sized tree right here. So obviously, you know, it flares out here at the end. But it's about 38 inches in diameter right here. So out here, you know, it's probably 32. But anyway, let's fire up a saw here and uh, we'll take a few pieces off of it. See what it looks like. Hopefully it clears up. It's looking much better already. 
really really nice now I do have this crack in it right here as you can see but that's not a big deal I can work around that and that crack probably extends almost all the way through the tree but uh, yeah this is a dandy right here nice solid white oak I don't know if you can see on camera here right at this end here I got a little bend in it I think I'm going to take two more pieces off of it we'll see what it looks like and after that I should be able to get a real nice 10 footer out of this probably 33 inches in diameter 10 feet long it's gonna make a nice tree right here <laughs> it's looking really good real nice and actually that crack is uh, starting to go away already but what I'm gonna do now is cut a uh, 10 footer right here and hopefully it looks just as good here this log will actually be like 10 feet 6 inches and then we'll start working our way down I could get two more eight footers out of here but I have a feeling as we get towards the top it's gonna get worse and worse so hopefully, we'll at least get one really, really nice 10-footer out of this. There's probably, yeah, there's probably 50 pieces of firewood in each one of these three rounds here. They're massive. I don't want to get my hopes up too high because I got kind of disappointed with that uh, red oak the other day. So this 10 footer here is fantastic. I can't see real good, but what I can see looks awesome. Now this next eight footer, I think it's pretty good as well. I did towards the bottom notice a little bit darker chips coming out, but not too bad. I think I'll get a ton of usable lumber out of this piece right here. This one here, another eight footer, I'm not sure about. All right, now the biggest challenge is going to be getting these up to the sawmill. Uh, it's not really that far. I mean, the trail's over there about 50 yards. Then from there, you go up the hill by another 175, 200 yards to get to the sawmill. But this thing is incredibly heavy. When I cut those rounds off the end right there, I struggled just 
you know, pushing them off the end. Very, very heavy wood, this white oak. I think what I'll do is bring the excavator down. I was planning on uh, using the skidding winch on the tractor. But as you go up that trail, it's nice and dry out everywhere. But on the inside of that trail, there's a spring. And uh, it's muddy. It is. I don't think I could pull this up the hill with the tractor. And I'm not even sure I'll be able to do it with the excavator. We'll have to figure it out. But at least I'll be able to get these out of the way, these big rounds here. And probably just pull this log up. I'll get it over to the trail. I'll get it up there one way or the other. We'll figure it out. But yeah, heavy log. So I meant to tell you guys something in the last video, but it slipped my mind. So before I forget again, we're going to go over something right now. This saw right here is just awesome. The 500i, it's unbelievable. It just screamed through that white oak. It, it's so fast. It's light. It's, it's perfect. I use it for absolutely everything. It's light enough to use... You know, just when you're out cutting firewood, but it's also big enough just to scream through big logs like this. The only thing I think I'll do to this saw, I'll probably at some point get the 25-inch light bar, and uh, that'd be about all i do. I mean, this is about the biggest tree I'll ever deal with right here. Yeah. But yeah, this saw here, it's the only one I need, really. Well, I got to run up to the house for a bit and take uh, daughter Eva out for a special assignment. And then uh, when I come back, we'll bring the excavator down here and see what we can do. All right, Eva and I are headed to the bank. Yep. Opening up a checking account so you can get your debit card, right? Yes. Her mattress is getting full, so she needs somewhere to put all her cash. Eva is a... Uh, She's a go-getter, and I uh, remember when you were going to, uh, I asked you or Hannah who wanted to wash my truck, but I wanted it done quick, and Hannah said, I'll do it, I just have to take care of something first, and Eva didn't say much, and she just walked outside, and Hannah said, where are you going, and Eva said, I'm going for a walk, and she texted me, and she said, don't tell Hannah I'm cleaning your truck, <laughs> got to make that bank, she said. <laughs> yep. So the driving's going pretty good. Eva's got a lot of confidence now. Drives nice and slow, pays attention, doesn't get distracted. And she just scheduled her driver's test on June 30th. Yep. Oh, boy. Hope I pass. All right. Well, hopefully you pass this test at the bank to get your checking account. That's what Hannah said, too. I didn't know, but you uh, have to be 16 years old to get a debit card because... Uh, Eva tried doing this a while back and, and couldn't do that. All right, Eva and I made it back from the bank, but it uh, didn't work out like we expected. Apparently, it's best to have an appointment to open up an account, which I didn't think was really a big deal, but we're going to go back out Monday evening. But anyway, I'm going to grab these three rounds here and just set them over by the trail and I'll be able to grab these with the uh, tractor and the grapple and carry them up to the yard but I'll get them out of the way here I'm telling you these things are heavy heavy
don't think that's going to work. You're going to have to take one at a time. going to hook a chain onto it and kind of pull it out. I'm going to try to get down here beside it and see if I can't lift it. You know, I'm lifting over the side here. I'm not sure if this will do it or not. Once we get this out of here, we're going to get a good estimation on what this weighs. Man, no problem at all. Wow. This thing's a beast. Now what I gotta watch is trying to carry it out of here. I don't want to lift it too high and drop it and have it roll back into the machine. So what I'll do, I'm gonna get it out there a little bit. If it does, I can catch it with my uh, thumb. I can't believe how easy this is carrying this log. No joke. A walk in the park. Now that I got that out of there, we can get a good look at this other end here. This is a dandy. This is what's left of that little crack on the far side, but I can work around that. I mean, look at all the good lumber from here up, and especially from here down. This thing didn't even, didn't even struggle. Well, while I have a hold of that, I think I'm just going to take it the whole way up to the sawmill. And I'll come back down and grab this one. I'll be curious to see what it looks like on this end. I don't think it's too bad. This log here could go either way. What I'm going to do is uh, carry this to the path there. It's only another 30 feet or so. Set it down, turn the entire excavator around because right now the way I'm carrying it, I'm carrying it over top of the final drives and going up that hill, I'd rather have the finals on the backside, not have all that weight on them. All right, this will be much better because I have the final drives behind me and I have the blade in front of me. That way if I were to drop it, I got the blade between uh, the machine and the log. Feels heavier this time. <laughs> can see on the uh, left side there that's where that spring comes out of the hill even in the middle of summer uh, it stays muddy right there and sometime I need to put like a French drain in there or something and get this dried up I'll probably be pawing around a little bit in this but that's what happens I try bringing a tractor up here and this one side it's pitched in towards the hill and it stays soft and muddy of a mess but it's finally drying up again here a little bit we had so much rain there for about two weeks on and off and uh, things are pretty dry it's pretty nice
So Melissa came down to check things out. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. That's a dandy of a logo. 10 feet, 6 inches, white oak. Beautiful. It is beautiful. That's that one that uh, Pete took down for us, and that's 319 this past winter. Oh, right. Yeah. I didn't know what happened to that. Okay. It's been laying down there waiting on me. Wow. You almost need like a whole pedigree chart for real. Like a family tree. Like <laughs> this tree was here. This... I know where they're all at. Yeah, I know. That's incredible. Wow. I hope Pete's watching. Yeah. And he knows. Hey, Pete, thanks for doing that. He knows you finally brought it up. Did you ever think you'd be doing Uber deliver log delivery? I, I like to call it DoorDash. Oh, DoorDash for log logs. Delivery? Yeah. 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 It's incredible. I'm not super fast in this, but I can carry big things. Well, you know what? You keep doing it. I believe in you. All right. You'll make something of it. Good. I'm going to go down and get the other ones. Okay. But out in front of me there, about 50 yards, there goes a deer. Oh my, there's a tiny, tiny little fawn there behind it. Yeah. They came cruising over here by this big white oak. The fawn is walking now, no problem at all. I'm going to give them a minute before I head over there. Well, I just fired the machine back up. I had about a 20 minute deer delay. I was watching that doe. She was way over there and I was waiting for that fawn to get over by its mum and it was just taking its time. I thought, you know, it just couldn't get around real well and it got about halfway up that hill over there after about 15 minutes and it just kind of trotted up over the hill. So it can move along a little bit better than I thought. But anyway, I'm going to grab this one here. Uh, this one should be pretty easy because it's a lot smaller than the last one. The last one was a 10 footer. This is an 8 footer. And it's not as uh, it's not as big around as the last one. good I'm looking at that other end this one should be pretty good all right this is going to be the last one hopefully the other end of it looks pretty decent we'll see but I'm pretty happy with what I got out of this so far anyway try to stay to the uh, right side as best I can on the way up with this one you can see that dark area right there that's all that mud I was telling you about I definitely need a drain in there or something I'm actually starting to slide over that way now you just can't uh, can't help from getting in it yeah 
It's the only wet spot on the trails, I think. Alright, we got them all out. What we have here is good, better, and best. That's a really nice log right there. This one here actually is pretty nice as well. All this bark falling off of it doesn't matter one bit. A little bit punky right here. Besides that, everything else is good. This white oak, uh, Almost gets that like pinkish tint to it. Looks really nice. But anyway, that was a uh, pretty successful day so far. We still have a lot of daylight left. But uh, I really appreciate all you guys being here. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. Click subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks.